We have a few important pillars we're moving forward. I would say globally, there's four areas in myeloma that uh, are unmet needs. I think I mentioned them, high-risk smoldering myeloma. These upfront high-risk patients, uh, about a quarter of myeloma patients don't, um, even with these great drugs we just mentioned, don't do well and will lose their battle within the first three years. That's an unmet need we need to do something about. The rapid relapser patients, um, those who relapse within 18 months, one of the best predictor of the outcome of a patient is how fast he or she will progress from his first line. We have a master protocol called MyDrug in that uh, for exactly for those early relapsers. We've enrolled now 50 patients on that trial. We will probably present some of that data at the upcoming ASH meeting. And then this uh, other area, which I just mentioned, these penta and exa refractory patients, those who are post anti CD38, uh, post BCMA. And, and we have a number of activities in those, um, in those very, uh, various buckets. By the way, in this last uh, setting of post BCMA, uh, post uh, CD38, we have another master protocol called My Checkpoint. We've enrolled now five patients. Uh, we just started right in the midst of the pandemic. And you'll hear more about that master protocol as well. Across all these uh, four pillars, we have an effort called the Immune Atlas. And at the ASH meeting, we had four presentation on the MMRF Immune Atlas. Um, you know, genomics is very uh, advanced. I remember a time when I started when it would cost a billion dollar and take 10 years to sequence a patient genome. Now you can do that in 24 hours for less than a thousand dollar. Well, uh, immune profiling, we're not quite there. Um, so there are different technologies from single cell RNA-seq to CYTOF to others. So we needed to homogenize these various approach to have homogenized SOPs, to have a, a standard immune profiling platform that we could deploy um, across all these trials and all these efforts. And that's something that we've done and we just presented. Um, uh, obviously, um, you know, prevention, as I said, is an important uh, area of activity for us. Just at the beginning of ASH, we've announced a brand new collaboration with uh, Dr. Irene Gobriol and the team at the Farber uh, you know, joining forces between uh, Dr. Gobriol, a uh, promise and P Crowd efforts in our own MMRF Cure Cloud. MMRF Cure Cloud is uh, also something we've announced this year. It's a direct to patient initiative where basically a patient can simply enroll online and it triggers a couple things. Uh, a mobile phlebotomist go to their home and collect blood for genomic and immune analysis. And at the same time, it also uh, releases access to their electronic medical record and where we can capture all of that uh, correlating clinical data and combining all of that. We've already enrolled uh, close to 400 patients. It's enrolling really fast. Um, we're going to learn a lot about uh, how these you know, real-world treatment um, perform in, in myeloma patients and um, you know, what's, what might be the best treatment given a patient's own um, unique blend of multiple myeloma. And talking about real world, uh, this ASH meeting, there was a, a wonderful, to me, one of the highlight was a, a presentation by Dr. Ch Chancellor uh, who talked about um, disparity. Um, multiple myeloma is a poster child has been a poster child of, of disparity. Uh, we know about three times more African-American uh, are MGUS than those of European descent. Um, African-American myeloma patients don't do quite as well. Um, they typically often do not get the same access to uh, for a transplant, which is now we know a very important uh, first line, second line approach for myeloma patient. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot around disparity in, in 2021 as well. Um, continuing on our uh, trials, we have a consortium of 23 centers, the, basically the oozus of multiple myeloma. Uh, and we've run through this consortium since the mid-2000. Uh, 90 clinical trials enrolled over 2,000 patients. Basically, every single drug approved in myeloma has come through this consortium, the MMRC. 
uh, we have now 14 ongoing trials and um, looking to launch more of these innovative trials, um, especially maybe using <clears throat> some of these new agents, uh, the, the new immune agent, the bispecific, uh, the CAR-Ts and others, uh, deploying those across um, the, the full spectrum of the disease from a precursor condition all the way to uh, very relapsed refractory patient and even uh, associated conditions like immunosis. So uh, a very full year for us, uh, a very uh, exciting year ahead. I think it's a, it's a, it's a great time for, for our uh, cancer. Um, and um, I'm really hopeful, um, you know, despite the interesting 20 year that was 2020.